you're new here, aren't you, puppy dog? Yeah, I'm Kira. Here for Uber Eats. I'm just trying to save up some money for uni and the nights out. <laughs> you're just a rich little white girl. I am Christoph, the second fastest. I work for the little room on my yellow hawk. Delivering is everything to me. Finding the shortest path, how you knock on the door, how you ring the bell, how you smile at the customer. I'm sure they love your smile. Who's the fastest then if you said you're second? Ugh, Zara. She doesn't speak, but she doesn't have to. She's with Just Eat. She's one with her motorbike. I'm sure I'll be the fastest in no time. Okay, cheesecake. You can try. Oh, <laughs> well, Christoph, I've got your order. Well, that's funny. All three of you are delivering to the same address. How strange. Wait. This is Germani's address. Who's that? Germani is the writer of the delivery magazines. He must be seeing which company is fastest to his house. Whoever loses will lose their job. I can't lose this job. I tried to save up to get my daughter a pink orc. I cannot let the delivery kimono keep down. Get my order to the pink hole.
Zara, if we all deliver at once, no one's going to lose their jobs. Think about it. It's not just about the food and how quickly it gets there. It's about the journey that it comes on. Fast, slow on the motorway over speed bumps. The customers are happy because they know that it's taken such a journey to get to their mouths. Wow, all at the same time. How amazing. Excuse me, guys. I heard what you said, and I, I, I moved. Honestly, it was a, uh, it, it was a beautiful speech, and it really brought a tear to my eye. I'm gonna write an article about how great you three are, as you are a perfect example to the delivering community, and I really do hope there's more people in this world like you.